my philosophy on exercise really is I think it's the key to happiness. Nobody's born perfect, so everybody has to work on some part of their body. Fitting exercise into your schedule is bloody difficult. What you're doing is trying to make yourself look as good as you can. And when you see results, it's pretty satisfying. The great thing about aerobic interval training, uh, which is actually one of my favorite ways of exercising, uh, is that you really get a workout from head to toe. It really is the answer to being tired and cranky. <laughs> Cheryl Teagues along with Lucinda and we're here at the Norwich Inn and Spa in Norwich, Connecticut. Uh, we've designed a routine that focuses on developing the cardiovascular endurance, agility and physical strength through a series of back-to-back one-minute circuits. It's a very well-rounded routine which also works on coordination and balance along with a series of stretching. You might say that this is two tapes in one because my partner Lucinda, along with Pam, will be doing the high intensity, while Shirley and I will be concentrating on the low intensity. But anyway, always remember to work at your very own level. Don't try to overdo it. We'll be working with three pound weights, but remember you should work with whatever weight feels comfortable for you. For you beginners, actually, you might consider working with no weights at all. You'll also need a jump rope, and for those of you who choose the high intensity, we have these boxes which kind of simulate your stairs at home. Uh, if you don't have stairs, get a friend to make a box for you. It's a great workout. Um, the important thing, of course, is that it has to be sturdy and strong. Now that we've got all that stuff out of the way, we'll get to the fun part, which is starting out with the warm-up. Let's go. go. Get ready, because Lucinda's going to take us through the warm-up. Good. Press. Press. And to this name. There you go. Long arms. Four more. Three. Two. And let's march it out. Okay, now we're finished with our warm up, so let's go get our box, weights, and jump rope. for the minute of aerobics. On that side of the room, they're going to be doing the high intensity. On this side, we're going to be doing the low intensity. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. This is elbow to knee. They're doing the box over there. Box is slightly harder, but this, if you really put some energy into it, can be hard. It's harder on the box because they have to lower their body more. <laughs> It's like telling as you lift, but this is very hard. And five, four, three, two, and one. Hold down, push up, hold down, up, down, and up. Keep your back straight. Don't lean forward. And. Well, I hope you enjoyed your workout. The program was designed not only to help you burn fat, but also to increase your cardiovascular endurance. It also is good for balance and coordination and that physical strength. You know, I like to play a lot of tennis, and the routine helps me with that hand-eye coordination. 
Also, a lot of the stretches are good to do before playing tennis and after, or any other physical activity. I feel very strongly that it's important to have a well-rounded exercise routine, so I strongly urge you to take a look at the other tapes in this series, because they were designed to complement this routine. Stretch and Strengthen with Elle McPherson is a perfect program for the beginner. It focuses on achieving flexibility and creating balance and posture through a series of stretching and resistance exercises. Body Sculpting with Rachel Hunter concentrates on exercises to tone and define the body. Utilizing both the major and smaller muscle groups, you'll begin to develop tone, definition, and strength. So the most important thing to have is a complete, safe, well-rounded exercise program. So start now with Sports Illustrated Super Shape Up program.